Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Ayman. Today's video is about 6 plus stuck in the recovery mode and when I try to restore it, it's giving me an error 4013. As you can see now, the phone is booting up normally and the problem is fixed. So together we will see how to diagnose this problem. Most of the time it's a baseband issue or NAND issue. I check the board and the board is very clean. And you will notice here that this is the new uh, version of the 6 Plus because it has a black underfill on the touch ICs. This is all covered in the black underfill, both chips uh, along with the uh, audio IC and NFC and everything here uh, covered by black underfill. So if I come here to check the baseband for short, I'm checking the resistance to see if there is a short or no. And I see there is no short here and there. I'm just propping, looking for short and looks good. Okay, let's power on the phone by connecting the iPower and let's measure the voltage of the NAND we have three voltages two inputs one output the 1.8 uh, sorry change to voltage we have here i think the three volt The 1.8, I'm sorry. 1.8, it's here already. And here, 3 volt. And here, it's covered by underfill. Here should have 1.2 volt. and it is zero volt now let's the phone is off now let's turn it on again here we have three and here we have 1.2 yes the three uh the two input and one output is fine so this is possibly uh, the NAND is not working. Have to take it out, put it on the programmer to check if it's the NAND itself or the uh, solder balls under it. Okay, let's remove the underfill. I forget to mention that uh, I checked already, uh, I was not planning to do a video, I checked the USB uh, IC, I measured the voltage on the connector, the battery connector, and I found 3.6 voltage, which means that the phone is charging, so there is no problem with the USB IC.
and here we go. We remove the NAND chip. And as you can hear, the NAND chip have a problem. It's not working. It's giving me... Ah, now it's working. It's okay. I will read the data. And I can read the data. I will take a photo for the data. I don't want to lose the these numbers. Okay, then I will uh, do HDD HDD fix start fix and it's fixed. I do quit. I remove the chip. Then let's clean under the NAND. You have to understand that this is part of the diagnosis. This is not the fix. I'm still in the process of diagnosing this phone. What I'm doing here, it's not fixing the phone. Now I use temperature 250 and I use my favorite tool, the 008 and let's remove the black underfill. Maybe this phone fall down from its owner and a crack on one of the solder bolts happened. Maybe it's uh, the, the, the system on the chip uh, got damaged or corrupted. So maybe after that the problem will be fixed, maybe it's not. In case it's not fixed, we removed the NAND and its circuit from the troubleshooting and they are fine and we look for something else Now let's reboil the chip and it's up to you, really it's up to you if you want to uh, diagnose more first, like you want to uh, take diode measurement under uh, the NAND, 
uh, before you do the repoll and put back it's really up to you it's your personal preference for me I need to make my work fast so I will do a repoll and I'll put back the name then if it work it's fine if it didn't I will go for deeper level of diagnosing and troubleshooting but if I spend one hour for every phone to diagnose the day will finish and I will not be able to uh, pay rent for my shop so I have to keep my workflow fast And now we give it one more try to restore. I'm sorry if I sound sleepy because in Ramadan we fast all day, we don't eat all day, then in the evening we eat. So when you stay all this time without food then you eat, you feel like you want to sleep and you feel too much heavy. So now let's try to restore. Okay. As you can see, the store is finished, but the battery is running low. Uh, it's charging right now. I'll keep it charged for a while. Then we're gonna test it. But this was an easy one and very straightforward. Let's make sure, is it, is it charging? Yes, it is. This was a very straightforward repair. Uh, I, error uh, 4013 uh, is very generic error. It doesn't tell you what exactly the problem. This error could happen because the phone was, uh, the memory was very full uh, that the phone cannot restore or because of corruption, uh, data corruption in the NAND chip. All I did, I just took the NAND chip, 
and I put it in this device, Navi Plus, and I click HDD fix, and this is fixing like corruption data or uh, bad partitioning. Then I put the NAND chip back to the phone and I did a restore and it worked. As you can see now, the phone is booting up normally and the problem is fixed. Of course, it's not easy for beginners or for a customer. This is something you cannot do it at home. You, you, you need the tools. I, I will leave a link below for the tools if you want it, but I, I don't recommend you, you do this uh, at home. It's not DIY repair. You could destroy the phone totally by trying removing the NAND chip uh, alone. Let's try to activate it. And the phone has uh, iCloud, so I need to call the customer to get his iCloud. But problem fixed. I hope you enjoy watching my videos. If you want to support me, share my videos with your friends. They could benefit of watching it. And if you personally benefit of watching my videos, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss my coming videos. Till then, my work here is done and I will see you next one.